I mean, that's rude. That's rude. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna do a three, two, one. There we go. Welcome back to another episode of Newfound Overland Podcast. This is the first in-person interview that we've done with Mr. Caleb Baker. He's in the house all the way from Northwest Arkansas. That's right. You were doing a shoot. You want to tell us somewhat about it? I know it's kind of top secret. You were somewhat yeah. in the area. Go ahead. Yeah, I was actually in your neck of the woods, which is why it worked out for me to do this here instead of sitting in my attic like I normally would be. Uh, yeah, working on a shoot that uh, the company's involved. I asked me not to say a whole lot about it, so I'm not going to uh, go into detail. But depending on when this comes out, if you're at more expo, uh, all the information what I've been working on will be announced there. So that's all I'll say. Sweet, man. I'm excited for you. I'm excited that you're in my neck of the woods for once. Yes. I always come down to Arkansas, but never in like your neck of the woods. Just the Ozarks. But the Ozarks are vastly superior. Oh, for sure. For sure. I went to a recent well, coffee hey, there one time. I, I said the Ozarks, and the Ozarks exist. They're pretty up here. broad, yeah. So I need to specify the Arkansas Ozarks. Yeah, I, I'm sure. Especially the Missourians. I used to get real mad when the Arkansas people would claim the Ozark Wachita, or not the Wachita, the Ozark St. Francis Forest. Yeah. It's very broad. It goes all over. Here's the deal, though, dude. It's not, it's not because it's not beautiful up here, and it's not because you don't have a million incredible parts of the Mark Twain National Forest to go explore. The problem is the regulations in Missouri they suck, suck yeah. compared to Arkansas. You yeah. can't just go explore and camp yeah. wherever you want. That's, if they lifted that, I'd camp up here all the time. That's why I go to Arkansas. Right. And the only, nah, anyway, enough of that. Missouri, get your stuff together. <laughs> get it together. All right, man. Well, we got more Expo coming up in a couple weeks. Um, you're going to be there, Storyteller Row. Yep. You got any plans for, for more, any agendas, anything yeah. you want to accomplish while you're there? So my plan last year was to be a storyteller. So uh, the year before that was the first year I was a storyteller. Chris reached out, invited me. I had like 200 subs on my YouTube channel. Nice. Super awesome for him to invite me, and I had a blast. And that's where I met you. That's where I met a whole bunch of people that I'm uh, really close to, to to this day. The next year, I was excited to come up, hang out, storyteller. Truck broke down. Gears exploded. So I was camping out of a unbuilt Sprinter uh, down in the camping area. That, that was fun, though. Yeah, it, w it was a good time. So this year, I was super excited to be back in the Storyteller area, and I'm going to be there, but it's going to be a little bit different. Let's hear it. So uh, uh, Fittipaldi, the wheel company, reached out to me and asked me uh, to come show off some new wheels in their booth, which I'm not mm. going to say no to. Nice. Because, like, why would I say no to some new wheels? So what I'm going to do, but I, but I really didn't want to miss the opportunity to hang out with the Storytellers because, to me, that's, like, such a good time right There's so many of those guys i only communicate with online mm. and uh and so getting to hang out and like camp i missed that last year yeah being down in the camp i mean it was fun but but being up with you guys is where i, I wanted to hang what out. what was your favorite part last year you would say <sighs> uh dude when when you came down one night i think it was you and tate i mean there's a there's a big group of like 10 dudes and you guys came down and we were like let's just let's just walk around this campground <laughs> and just stroll into people's camps and just be like what's up what you cooking tell me your story yeah and we just like freaking met a ton of people uh that <laughs> that may or may not have wanted their campsites right. invaded but who cares That's well, what what's crazy about. like to paint a picture for people who've never been to more camped it's like the camping out there is really close quarters yeah so you learn to know your neighbors real quick yep and for us, and it's very vast, I'd call that the back 40, you know, easily <laughs> from there to Storyteller Row is yeah. like... It's a good hike. It's a good gap. Yeah. But that's also where the VIP thing, where the bands and there was like a bar there, hiker yeah, set cool. up over there. I'm pretty sure they're still going to do that this year in there unless the new... There's that new Wilson Center that's going to be there for the power sports is going to be there oh. too. So I don't know... That's where they're putting that. I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's well. They just built it kind of there, but it's the, it's right there on site. So cool. pretty sure, and I've never confirmed this, but I'm pretty sure if you buy a ticket for more, you get a ticket for the PSE. Because so it's that's there. a good question. Are they going on at the same time? Yep. Man, I don't know how I missed that. I thought that was a whole separate event. I did it first, but I was like, it's the same weekend. Oh yeah, so it's gonna be there. Yep. 
So that's gonna that's not, I'm I'm actually surprised because I imagine that will pull. Oh yeah. Yeah, a whole different demographic. Yeah. Yeah, you got side by sides. You got uh, MDX guys. Maybe I think it's power sports that has to be motorized. Yeah. So you got the motocross guys, side yep. by side guys, four wheeler guys. There'll be some crossover, but it's going to be a a big expansion of their audience. Yeah, for sure. That's cool. That's super cool. Yeah. So last year it was cool how they put the hiker and the the band down among all the campers. Yeah. Because the first year I did it, it kind of felt like it was in that little. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, 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 right. That was tiny. Th- this, yeah, and this feels cool. It's more space, and it's, like, right among, like, where the majority of people are camping. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's the best part. Um, are you doing anything fun as, like, giveaways or any anything for your viewers to, like, check in on you so you... <clears throat> so this is one of those areas where I need to learn from the mighty Benji Ward. <laughs> I like giving away stuff. You're so good at this. You're good with, like, switching up your stickers. I don't know where it went. It was sitting over here a second ago, but uh, you got... You, you, you're so good about, like, keeping things fresh. Like, I just ordered your new Becker Supply, Newfound Overland, like, uh, collab yeah, yeah, shirt. Yeah. And I actually called Jake on my way up to Missouri a couple days ago, and I was like, dude, Benji kills this. I'm, I, I, I want to, like, get on his level. level. So, like... <laughs> How do I do this? And he was like, yeah, let's do a one-off collapse. So I'm going to try to work with Sweet. them on some sort of deal. But, dude, to this day, uh, I've never sold a single item of merch. And it's not because I can't sell it. It's right. just because I don't I don't make it. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. Exactly. And, I, and uh, I, w- I would love to do that. But, hey, you know, yeah. I just need to hand over the merch section of Baker Overland and be like, Benji, Teach me your ways. <laughs> so that's funny, cause like I, I don't want to mess with shirts. I, I said, what I say, budget overland. I gotta learn it. Well, it's newfound. Whatever. So if you're new, I don't know, I don't know, I don't. That's not it. But if you've been in the budget overland Facebook group, I changed the name literally a couple. We days are ago. united by overland. Yeah, and that pissed a lot of people off because they don't want to be united. They want to be independent, which that's Listen, not what I was saying. If you are one of those people that got your panties in a bunch, now is your opportunity <laughs> to exit because there's bigger things in life to worry about. Yeah. Get out of your mom's basement. <laughs> um, and that's the segment we call but it was, Losers Leave. It was so funny because they were throwing a big fit in all these other groups, I guess. I, yeah. I'm not in them. But uh, it's just a name change. I'm all about the community and getting everybody together. And budget overland to me was always don't go into debt. You know, save up for things. If you get a killer buy on something cool, you know, don't rush into buys and all this stuff. Right. That was the whole budget thing. You know, less than expensive on some things, all that. But then some people are like, no, you have to have a $200 car and used tires and no spare. And you got to drink out of the pond. And like, no, that's totally the opposite of what I was saying. Right. But anyway, I'm glad we changed the name because... Um, that group honestly was kind of dying so yeah. we needed to do something so anyway enough of that so i like it we are united by over and i like it that you didn't say united by overlanding which would like be yes. a, a more of a sentence it's just like yeah. it's kind of like your i am overland sticker. i am over it's like we are united by overland <laughs> i just learned how to talk <laughs> so good it is like that but like if you think about it everybody and their brother is something something overland which that's fine right. you know it's their handle or whatever so like kind of finding these cool names are taken yeah. so you've got to be creative like for the newfound i'm sure i've talked to you months before i did this spitballing with people like i need ideas for a brand for a name it never could hit me i i drove myself absolutely insane then one day i was like you know what just rediscover the word overland and call it newfound i remember when you sent that to me newfound and i was like done yeah i love it Makes sense. Throw the rest out the window and yeah. Forget and it about also it. really fit like this this shift in your work. Mm-hmm. Like you you did this thing. It was very successful. It built uh, a large audience, and you obviously are wanting to move into something new. Newfound just it makes perfect sense. And and also Newfound and United are two words that, to me. They're like this is where we're steering. We're doing a new thing, yeah. and we're trying to focus on uniting people from all right. walks. And not being so divisive, people need to take a pill. Yeah. Okay. Let's get off that. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I'm not done with that. I'm, I'm not. Kidding. Let me tell you something. <laughs> and to this person and this person and this person. There okay. was like six of them. They called their first cousins because that's all they know. Anyway, 
Um, so we got a DSLR camera up here. I don't have anything here. We've got a little web camera here. So I don't know what this is going to look like, but bear with me because I'm trying to work on uh, shots. You guys need to understand something. So uh, this space is freaking cool. Thank you. It's really cool. <laughs> Benji's put a lot of work into like making this a vibe and it's like in the middle of an auto body shop. So the fact that like it looks this cool is uh, is it's impressive. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. It's uh, it's masculine yet classy to a point. And that's our that's this is what I upload every week's 100 uh, percent of the audio you're listening to is actually being recorded right here. Right there. <laughs> that would be wild. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, we got some background. Brian, come say hi, Brian. <laughs> come say hi. This is Brian. <laughs> Off-road Brian in the house. He can't figure out how to use a 40-year-old recliner. He's in Grandma's couch. That is a legit recliner. lazy boy. And that's probably the first one. Hey, Brian. Uh, so that's a camera there. Hey, that is Brian. That is Brian up here, guys. What's this beverage you're drinking here? It's the uh, Monster. Oh, oh, it's Monster. I just saw Beast. This isn't uh, sponsored by Monster. I really hoped it was like a M Mr. Beast. I wouldn't Beast mind getting beverage. sponsored by Mr. Beast. That would yeah. be pretty cool. I wouldn't mind either. Monster Energy. It's not energy. It's it's a hard seltzer. Oh, is it really? oh yeah, man. It's really good. Well, I took him as a prude. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beast, I'm sorry. I've looked down on you. <laughs> Well, he's drinking a seltzer. Or, <laughs> not you. Not it's you. I get Brian and Mr. It's a Beast manly confused. drink. Is it though? No. That's, yeah. Um, anyway, I don't know what's to come of this. I'm sure we'll do some more in persons as as we polish this stuff out. I'm wanting to do some streams eventually, but I gotta figure out these stupid cameras and my hands. What am I doing with my hands? Dude, what do you, you do with your hands? You've, like? you've got this dialed in, man. I, I think everything you got makes perfect sense. Just now, bring people in and do yeah. your thing and that's we were talking about this before the show but something that i have always been really impressed with you and your ability to do a podcast it's a whole different like animal mm -hmm. to interview somebody like in a natural way right you know what i mean and first of all the second that even if someone's good at like having a conversation just two people just chatting mm -hmm. the second a camera comes on everybody gets like yeah right. my arms start floating you know what i mean and the fact that <laughs> <laughs> the, the fact the fact that like you do this in a good way i think you should just lean into it like when i do a podcast on a, you know, a live stream podcast whatever you yeah. call it when i do it on mine it, it's like prep city i have to like i have to know what i'm gonna ask mm. or it's just gonna be like so a weather you know so i can't yeah so that's funny too like I've got a stack of papers of everyone I've ever interviewed. Yeah. I'm a doodler. I've always got to be doing something. So, like, if we're talking about something, I'll, I'll write down a highlight of yeah. what you said and circle if you're giving tips and stuff. So, like, yeah. I need to screen print those or what? Not screen print, but yeah, upload them so people can see those. Probably think I'm, I don't know if I want to share that stuff. Well, you, you can decide what you want to do. But I think the fact that some of it you might be able to offer like tips and tricks to other people but the fact is that like certain people can do this well and certain mm. people can't and if you can do it well you can you can learn things to make you better and if you suck at it you can learn things to make you better but some yeah. people it's just natural and you you've always done that appreciate it man good uh, job thanks man yeah it does mean a lot because you're in the you're in that visual world you know you got That's youtube me. and all that mm -hmm. stuff so watching your podcasts Whatever so this is the point it. where I complimented you, so now you have yes. to compliment me in return. Because I'm a Midwesterner. Or I'm going to get up and go sit over there with Brian. Okay, shoot. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, we got about four more minutes on the camera because we're using a actual battery. I'm supposed to have a dummy battery because those get hot, yep. I guess. And even then, I think they can only record up to like... 40 minutes i need to figure that it out. depends on the room temp i've had them die sooner but yeah there is a there's a product this is not going to be relevant to anyone watching this but <laughs> it's a battery that plugs into the wall it like fits in the battery compartment and right. plugs in it'll just run non-stop you need to get you one of that's those. the dummy batteries that's what i was talking about oh right? that's what you were talking about mm -hmm. i didn't have a cool name and that would still keep it running as long as you've got memory yeah and stuff? yeah cool that's what you need to do. That's that's what I was wanting to do. And, you know, do and you, I looked at Amazon yesterday to see if I can get one today. It won't be here till Tuesday, so I didn't mm. order it. You know how many of those I have? Six. None. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
I just risk it for the biscuit Jeez, and it doesn't rub it in my face. It, no, if you watch my videos, occasionally they go black and I'm like, hold on everybody. Oh, we gotta switch out a battery. That's the that's the segue sometimes, you know. Uh, I like it. Um, what else you want to talk about? Because I don't know how this one's even. Uh, so how's your mom doing? <laughs> She's good. We were just there. Uh, when were we? There? Oh, because my car, my my forerunner broke down. Yes. So we were in Springfield. I went to Springfield from here to Springfield, which is an hour and a half one way. Five times, five days, five, five different days, five trips in six days. Something stupid. I can't even do the math on it. It was just. Every day, wake up, go there, come back, or do something crazy. Yeah. So, um, shout out to Lorenzo. We went there and picked it up, and it's just been here ever since. I ordered some ring gears for it, and I got to get it just to get it fixed, man. Got to get it, get it fixed. Yeah. You got to, you know, the, the. I'll be at more. I'll have it done by more. Okay. I was going to say, the Forerunner is, uh, you know, that's why I didn't go to Storyteller Row last year, even though Chris was like, well, pull the van up there. I'm like, the rigs become more recognizable in some cases than we do Yeah, in this space. I was talking to you about that last year also. To me, I don't. I don't care, but it does make sense. To other people. It does. It matters. I mean, when you were with Budget... For a while, your logo, which I, you know, I'm going right. to brag about no, for a no, minute, that's fine. I give credit was your rig. Right. You know what I mean? Like that, it wasn't your face. Mm -hmm. Some, which it brings up a whole another discussion. But I, you know, I talked to Justin McBride about this because he does. Um, that's why he does his face as mm -hmm. his logo. He's like, I used to do my logo, uh, but he was like, but people recognize that more than me. And 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 uh, I don't want to botch this. I'm not putting words in his mouth. But basically, he was like. It makes more sense as a YouTuber to identify your channel with yourself. But a lot of us don't. It's our logo. It's our rigs. And um, so, yeah, get the runner up. Yeah, I, I agree with that. It'll, it'll happen. It's just time. Yeah. So, like, this weekend, I'm not blaming you, but you were coming up here. So I want to make sure you were good. He's blaming me. Um, <laughs> last weekend, what? what We went. Was that last weekend we camped with Ricky? Two weekends ago. Two. Okay. Yeah, when well, you did like the friggin' death metal camp that video. Was awesome. <laughs> Just, so that's like, I love like music of eating all camp food, and the guy's like, die. Because <laughs> uh, Ricky, Ricky's special needs. So, like, yeah. he's never camped, but he loves metal. So that was more like a tribute to him. Well, now I feel like a dick. Because oh. I was just making fun of you, I and now it feel like we're I'm making fun of There's your buddy. There's reasons why I do things, though, is where I was going with it. But I deleted y'all give me video. a pass on that one. I think it's funny. <laughs> All right, I think I, that's that that gonna... death metal music was never more perfect. I know it. <laughs> Any words of wisdom? We're gonna hang up here. Uh, thanks for having me on, man. This is a cool space. You've done a great job with it. I'm excited for Newfound Overland. Yeah. I'm excited for United by Overland, and I'm just glad to be your friend, bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Appreciate you coming to town. If you haven't already, go over to Baker Overland, subscribe, and leave them a comment, and then go over to Apple iTunes, leave me a review, because every 10 reviews we're doing up until 200 rev reviews, I'm going to do Newfound Overland stickers. Oh, so yeah. you've got to... Leave a review that'll get you entered into the giant pool. And yes, if you left a review on Budget Overland, you will get two times the entry. So go do that. Until next time, check out Monday for weekly kickstart. That's what I'm calling it. I like it. Um, this will probably, I don't know if I'm going to put this on the podcast or just on YouTube. We'll see. But anyway, do all the things. Subscribe. Love one another. Don't screw up our world. <laughs> bye bye
a cameraman tonight and that, in person. Man, this feels oddly professional. I don't really know. I'm pinching myself because I did this. <laughs> you did. We need to talk about the professionalism on this because I feel like the outsiders need to know what went into this space.